everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to be doing a big ass haul for y'all. So, uh, apologise for the lack of autumn feels in the room. This is the best place to film a haul because I've got the space for it. Autumn, winter's creeping up. I wanted to get a few new autumn winter bits. Pro pre predominantly here it's kind of like autumn-y themed. I had like a, a little surprise or a bit of luck the other day when, when I went on holiday, it was kind of a bit annoying that when you go and stay in a hotel you have to pay like $50 to $100 a night for incidentals at your hotel, right? Normally in the UK, you get it back like two or three days later. And because I was in America, it took a, a month to come back into my account. So I was pretty annoyed because it, it, it meant I had less spend the money when I was out there. However, because the money that I used for the incidentals was for holiday, when it came back into my account, I was like, shit, I treat myself. Oh yeah. So I did. So I bought a few bits of bobs with that. And then also I hadn't been on ASOS properly in some time. The last ASOS haul that I did was the subscribers cho subscribers choose by ASOS haul. And that was sponsored by 21 Buttons. So I haven't actually done an ASOS haul in, in ages. Cause that, that was filmed before, like before, just before I went away. It went up when I was away. So I feel like haven't ASOSed it in a while. So anyway, I'm going to show you some bits and bobs that I've picked up. I've got some stuff from Topshop, I've got some new boots from a shop, and some ASOS things. So I'm going to start with the boots that I got as they're on top. Okay, it's been some time since I have had Dr. Martens. I do have a couple of pairs already, so, but, but somehow I feel like it's a festival, at a festival, I lost my black Pascals, which are like the classic boot, but softer. I was, I'm gutted, like I just can't find them anywhere, I've looked everywhere, and all I can think of was they got left behind at a festival when we were rushing to pack, it might have been download when I was rushing to get home to Lola, I can't remember, it might have been even before that, I don't, I don't know, anyway, I have been thinking about getting a new pair of Dr. Martens for a while. Things with Docs, right, the classic boot, is I, I love them when I'm at a festival, but everyday wear, I, I never normally wore them anymore because I felt like, I felt like they were quite dumpy, <laughs> if that's the right word. Um, but I still wanted some new Dr. Martin. So I had a look around, looked around the shop, and I found a good kind of compromise, I guess. These are like the classic boot. They have a heel. Because of that that heel and that's like lift there, I'll feel less short and stumpy. I don't know, because you know like with the, the, the classics, they're like they're, they're mega flat and they're like, ooh. I it just felt like really short and like, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I got these and these have a very similar kind of lever to the Pascals, little bit stiffer, but it, it's really, really soft and kind of waxy. Eyelets are like um, like a dark gold on there. They've got the, the, the yellow stitching. And I got these, I also bought some cleaning stuff for them, but the style is shriver high. Shriver high. And uh, I got them in a the size four. I am really loving some of the new style of docks, especially some of the heeled styles. There's like some with buckles on now, like real big fan of some of the new styles that are coming out. But I thought that these would make a really good autumn winter staple for me um, to shove them on with anything. I feel, I do like wearing them with jeans, but again, if you're short legged and you wear anything that's quite stiff and high, you do feel like you've shrunk. <laughs> these would probably be more worn with more like skirty sort of stuff, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm really glad that I have got a new paradox. I went to Topshop. Oh, they must have run out of Topshop bags because I've been given a top man bag. I was going to do like an online shop, uh, but I forgot my password and it, they locked me out of my account. So I was like, oh, fuck you then. It was late and I could be bothered to sort it out. I'll just go into store tomorrow when I meet Connor. This is a roll neck, real big jumper in a real nice mustard. Big old sleeves there. Massive roll neck. Oh, I love that. I'm going to be so warm in you. Um, they, that reminds me of I'm, I'm the, the sorting hat. Sorted hat is a vlog where my boyfriend does the most amazing sorting hat impressions. And so we were doing sorting hat impressions all week. <laughs> I'm just, he's on the brain. Really nice mustard colour. Quite not, not too thick. So it's really good for this time of year because it's not like a mega, mega thick jumper. They do it in grey and they've got it in pink. But I thought that I, like, I really like mustard and it kind of, this colour like, I've always liked mustard, but 
it's kind of more fitting into my, not my new style, but the style that I like prefer these days. So I, less sort of pinks and bright colours, or you know what I mean, more more monochromes in like earthy tones. This is a bright colour, but it's mustard, it's sort of different. But I real super like it. This is just like a really good slouchy every day. I'm gonna wear this every day. I'm gonna wear this every day and never take it off kind of jumper. This is a Baker Boy with a houndstooth kind of checkered print with a blue and red detail going through it. Not that noticeable. It's a bit tight this one, it's a bit smaller than my other ones. I'm gonna stretch it out a bit, but oh, I won't get blown away in the wind. Hello. Just refreshing up my hat game because I've worn the shit out of my other Baker Boy hat, so got a new one. This, which I saw on the website and I went, I need that. It's like a blackened sort of cream polka dot, but it's more like a, a messy polka dot. It's, it's like a hand-drawn polka dot, I guess. Um, and then it's got these t these six buttons on the front there, and it's split-legged also. So a really, really nice autumn dress. Put on some tights to make it a bit warmer, I guess. But I really like this. It's like, oh, it's like a shirt-style dress with, yeah, long sleeves. Definitely be wearing these with my Dr. Martens. How cute would that look? But, um, so that's what I got from Topshop and the Dr. Martin store. Gonna move on to ASOS. This skirt couldn't be more autumn if it tried. I have this in a black and white stripe. I've got to sneeze. Ah! Whoa. Glamorous is the brand, and it's just a real nice chiffon sort of skirt, pleated. It's got an underskirt, and it's just made up of mustard, black, white, pink, and red stripe. The colours, obviously, the palette is very autumn, isn't it? Isn't it just? I would wear this with a variety of different things. I've got my band t-shirts. This goes really well, this Aerosmith one. Anyway, look, because uh, the colours. Or just like a plain black. Could put a nice knit on top. I really like the colours. Earthy tones. This jumper, I don't know, I, I've got quite a lot of jumpers in my wardrobe. I, I have like, I had like a cull, like last, at the beginning of the year, like earlier in the year, knitwear I just wasn't really into anymore. Um, and I've realised that all my knitwear in my, or all my jumpers in my wardrobe now are predominantly Yosemite National Park, Disney World, I've got an alien one, Margaritaville, Universal Studios. I wear them all the time. Like, there's nothing better than taking off a bra, putting some leggings on, or some slouchy trousers, and chucking on an oversized jumper with something on it. Somewhere that I've been, place that I love. But I don't really have anything for if I want to go out and feel kind of nice. So the knitwear, I'm working on the knitwear again. But I got this. It's it, although it is kind of bright coloured and it's striped, I still think that it's got quite, um, it's not like in your face. It's It's got like a retro feel to it. I feel like the colours that are selected. It's, it's a somewhat high neck. It's, it's big, it's got like, a, it's very wide fitting, so it'll have that like slouchy sort of look. But it'll just add a little bit of colour, a little bit of zest to an outfit. And I think that these work really well together and they give that kind of cosy, Feel looks very so like my mum would have worn in the 90s. Totes into it. It's a really nice feel, really nice knit, real nice, like, yeah, I love it, real cool. So, didn't think it would be much of a autumn y kind of haul, but didn't include some sort of jacket. I've got a leather jacket, I've got like a black long jacket, I've got various fur coats, I've got a new coat recently, which is like a Biker leopard print hybrid, which looks like this, and I fucking love it. That was from ASOS. That was actually the first thing. As soon as I got back from holiday, someone tweeted me and said, this coat is so you. I went, oh, hell yeah, it is. I'm gonna buy it. Jet lag state, and I love it. I'll put the link to that down in the description, because it's it's ace. But, and I do have a denim jacket, but that is like my oversized sort of summery one. I want to have a, a, a kind of a non-black, non-formal, sort of jacket to wear in these cooler months, in these colder months. I look cool, but it's still got that kind of warm. Oh, it's basically inside as well. So I got, is this a biker style jacket, like cut, but in denim. So as you see, you've got like the collar here, but you've got the buckles and shit that you get when you wear a biker jacket. It's really big. 
It's like an aviator. I feel like an aviator, just an aviator jacket as well, isn't it? Whoa, where's my plane? I thought that this would be great. Great, real, like, chill, cool. Yeah, it's really warm. The sleeves are quite puffy, so it doesn't feel like a regular denim jacket where you can feel denim on the inside. There's actually like a lining on it. Um, but it's got the fleece on the inside, fleece on this bit. This is cool! And it's a darker denim to what I normally would wear. This is from Boohoo. And this is a cream tassel jumper, nice chunky knit. Um, and it's got the tassel that go all around the sleeve, all across the boobies and all across the other sleeve. Um, I've got a feeling that this might molt because you know them shaggy cardigans that everyone was wearing? I've got one that molted well bad, but this might molt. Oh well, but it's gorgeous, isn't it? This would be a really nice everyday jumper. I would wear it down to the pub, um, quite festive. Like this could pass as almost like a Christmassy themed jumper because of all the Ooh, like a little, it looks like a bit like a Christmas decoration. Sling on some black jeans, some nice leather boots, hat maybe, if you're feeling like it. Simple outfit, but you know, that does all the talking. What else do you need? I really wanted a long black skirt that had sort of some sort of structure to it, um, that I could wear and that had a real like autumn-y kind of, oh, sorry, itchy eye, or autumn-y sort of feel to it that I could wear with my band t-shirts, like an everyday skirt that was easy to style up. And I got this, it's in a cool, it said corduroy, but it's not really, it's like tiny corduroy. It's got the lines going down, but it's like min it's minuscule. Nice little buttons up there. And it is, I'll wear it, high, I'll wear it high waist and it'll go down. Oh, that goes, that does, that's like really long. I would wear this as a staple item and just an everyday go of everything. I would probably wear it with some Converse, some boots. This is just a basic, innit? This is like rather, it's like rather than wearing jeans. Cause although I'm all about the black jeans life at the moment again, I need to mix it up. I got this top, which I thought would be a very versatile top for myself. I'd probably, this is something I'd wear on a night out. It's a little body that we got. And it's a velvet and mesh leopard print. So where the where the velvet is, is around the leopard print. I don't know if you could make it out in this light or if it's too dark for that shit. Can you see that? <laughs> but this is very nice evening top, day top, whatever top you want it to be. But this is the sort of shit I'd wear uh, on a night out, like with a little skirt. A staple, essential, it's something that I won't throw out. This is something that I'd always keep forever because it'll always come in handy. Then we have another body. Whoa, that's a plunge. When they Right, this is my beef that I have, you know. Oh, that's the back, I was gonna say. It's still quite big. Whenever, I, that is annoying. Whenever I see like a model on ASOS, cause I was worried that if I take my plunge, it's just gonna be titties, titties, titty, titty show the whole time. Think, oh, that one doesn't look too plungy, but this looks very plungy. But it's a body with big old sleeves, a tie around the back. I'm just getting my ass ready for potential Christmas parties and drinks, you know. I don't know how many times I'm gonna be going out. So I, I like to wear things that are kind of cool and cash, but also a little bit build class. So this is this is what I wear. So a lot of boobage there. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. And the last thing is this epic dress that I got, which I have worn. I apologise. A shirt dress with a split leg. I love it, as you can see in these illustrations. Oh no, this photographic evidence here that of me wearing it. I love this so much. Obviously, snake skin is in, and I'm well on that trend because I love animal print. So I was like, I'm gonna get something trendy, and I bought this. Yeah, bought this dress. I got it in a large. Fits like a dream, and it's just like long sleeve. But I rolled them up a little bit. It does have a tie waist, like a, a, a waist tie. Sorry, I ended up using like a normal leather belt with like a nice funky buckle. But I think this is really good because I'd wear this every day, like with a leather jacket on top and like everyday shoes, like either black Converse or black boots or something like that. But when I wore like my platform sandly sort of stuff and but did a full face of glam makeup, it transformed into like an evening outfit and I felt really nice in it. It feels really nice material. So I'm really chuffed with that because that is again another versatile piece of clothing that can transform itself depending on how you style it. I'm gonna finish up the haul on some of the accessories that I bought. This is a set of earrings that I got from ASOS from 
think it's glamorous. I don't know, they're like these crosses with janglies on, nice little diamonds and stuff. Just to keep the satan nuns away from me, you know? Fucking demon nuns. Go away, Valak. Shitted. And I got, you know, they fit, they fit into my saggy cap. Well. But I've got these, these are from New Look, Ace at New Look, and they've just got a marble top, gold and wooden base. They're super nice. These, they're a bit flippin' funky, aren't they? Palm, cheese park leaves. Very, very me. And then by Boohoo, I've got these big ass tortoise earrings, tortoise shell earrings, and these just sort of tear shapes. They're real big. They're very cool. They're very like 70s looking. That, my friends, is it. I hope you enjoyed that and feel equally as autumnally inspired as I do. I love this time of year. That is it. I will put all the links in the description for everything. See you later.